This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. All Hit Radio! To the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome back to the X Zone, everyone. Tonight we have Corey K with us, and we're doing the weekly edition of. The X Zone Tech Zone with the one and only Corey K from Tampa, Florida. Hey, Corey K, how are things in Tampa tonight? Everything's great, Rob. How are you? Any better? And I just couldn't take it, my friend. Um, we got the pool up. We've got all the furniture up. Now we're just, you know, it's so beautiful that it rained a couple of days. I cut the grass on Monday, and Corey. If I didn't know I had cut the grass, I would have said, who the heck lives here and let their grass get that long? <laughs> I've been in those shoes before. You have, and I'm glad you brought them back to me because they were my favorite shoes. <laughs> hey, Corey, what are we talking tonight about here in the X-Zone Tech Zone? Well, I wanted to tell the X-Zone Nation about upgrading their computer to Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and also upgrading to Microsoft Office 2013. There are a few surprises that I just don't think the average person out there is uh, prepared for just yet. And um, I wanted to tell them a little bit about that. Corey, wh why do they keep on changing the versions? Is it a marketing ploy? Are there important updates and, uh, and new firewall procedures? Is it more secure? You know, why keep they changing? Are, well, yeah, they're always making security improvements, and they always want to improve the design, um, so they think, and... They spend a lot of time on surveys, so mm -hmm. I know a lot of well-intentioned people think that they're creating these new user experiences that people will like, but sometimes they just miss the mark. Wow. Um, what are the – like there's Windows 8, Windows 8.1. What are the two big differences between ver uh, point one and 8? Well, what happened is with Windows 8, you had a completely different start area than people were accustomed to mm -hmm. on Windows computers, and people really didn't like it. And I'm sure the Microsoft people were surprised. They spent a lot of time and in research into this, and they just didn't get this right. People didn't like the change. I think it was too much change at once. So with Windows mm -hmm. 8.1, they added back some of those old features that people were used to. And it's definitely easier to use, in my opinion. Um. We're also going to be talking about Windows 2013. What are the major improvements on, I'm sorry, Microsoft Office 2013? What are the major improvements, if any, in the new version of uh, Microsoft Office that you're aware of? The biggest change is that everything is done in the cloud now. And I can talk a little bit later about what the cloud really means. But instead of having your office, your documents stored primarily on your home computer mm -hmm. and just on one machine, it's all going to be online now by default, which is a big change, I think. What about privacy issues? When it comes to having documentation on the cloud, it's not on your machine, which means that, you know, if the cloud gets hacked, all your documents are there, all your information's there. 
Oh, yes. That is definitely a major concern. People have to be careful about what they choose to put online. If there's a document that they think can get into the wrong hands, Mm -hmm. you might want to take extra security steps to protect that information. And um, that is definitely something we can talk about there, too. So so you mean if I decide to upgrade from... um Office 2010 to Office 2013, I can't keep everything on my computer? You can. They give you the choice to store things on your computer. You can even log in as a local user on your local machine like you used to in the past. Right. But there's a big catch, and that's the main thing that I want everyone to know about. Um, If you log in on, on a local account on your local computer instead of through a cloud-based or internet-based Microsoft account. Your product keys may not work. Mm. Your activation keys that you paid money for may not work right. And that's the big thing I wanted to warn people about tonight. It must be causing havoc out there. It is. There's a lot of confusion. Um, I think that Microsoft tried to put information out there, but... It's not like the information that people really need to know is going to be in your local newspaper. So um, it's up to people like us to kind of inform um, everybody of these changes and where you can go wrong. Okay, and you and I will be doing that when we come back from this two-minute commercial break. Corey Kay is our special guest. He is the gentleman behind the Exxon Tech Zone. His website is www... I'm sorry, his, his email address is Corey K at R-E-L hyphen M-A-R dot com. We'll be back on the other side of this break. Don't go away. Modern Esoteric, Beyond Our Senses by Brad Olson, consummates the lifeology story about where humanity originates. It is the lost continents, the primitive wisdom, the mythos of creation, and the rethinking of ancient history as we are taught in academia. There is much more to the story than what we have been told. As this is the first book in the Esoteric series, Modern Esoteric starts at the beginning of time and accelerates up to this modern age. Future Esoteric is book two in the series and takes a forward-looking position ahead of today with an open and honest examination of the ET issue and various unexplained phenomena. To discover the writings of author Brad Olson, visit www.bradolson.com. That's www.bradolson.com. Named one of the world's greatest psychics, Elizabeth Joyce is now giving readings worldwide via Skype. Elizabeth Joyce is recognized for her clairvoyant ability to help find missing persons, her analysis of dreams, past life regression work, mediumship, and her accurate predictions. Elizabeth has been a frequent guest on the X-Zone radio show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, now for several years. For an appointment with Elizabeth Joyce, call 201-934-8986 or Skype at elizabeth.joyce. And for more information, you can always visit Elizabeth Joyce online at www.new-visions.com. a disease that you would like to alleviate through a natural means? Have you been contacted by angels, ghosts, or even extraterrestrials and want to validate these experiences? Or would you simply like to speak with someone who can help you find your life's purpose? I'm Dr. Joseph Mara, and I'm offering my services free of charge for first-time clients contacting me during the month of April. These free consultations include angel card readings, guided meditations, life coaching, and energy healing. If you have always wanted to explore these types of experiences but were skeptical or simply could not afford them, 
then take advantage of this free special offer. Contact me through my website, a guiding light spelled L-I-T-E dot com, to schedule your consultation today. Until then, I offer you love, light, and laughter. Welcome back, everyone. Corey Kay is our special guest this hour for this week's edition of the X Zone Tech Zone. If you'd like to send Corey an email, ask him a question, his email address is C O R E Y K. That's just the alphabet K at R E L hyphen M A R dot com. All right, Corey, let's talk about Window 8 machines and, and how they have evolved, how they changed, and are they better than the other uh, than the older machines? Like I'm talking about Windows Seven. I gosh, I remember XP, Vista. You know, the list goes on and on. My gosh. Oh yeah, I think the biggest thing for people to be aware of is that Windows computers didn't change all that much from the early '90s until Windows Eight came along. Before, if you went to the store and picked up a Windows computer, you knew that you could turn it on, you could sign on, Mm -hmm. and um, you could download software and keep it forever. And um, that's whether the software was paid for or if it was free software, you owned it and you could keep it on your local machine forever. Um, The only problem which the internet helped to solve is people wanted to be able to take those documents from their local computer and have it at work and have it wherever they go and it's taken us a long time to get to the this point but with windows 8 we're finally to the point where you really can take any document from your local computer and share it on the cloud which we'll get into later and you can have it at work. You can have it in the coffee shop, wherever you go. You can have access to your documents. And what's even neater um, is that if your computer goes down, mm-hmm. you have a backup somewhere, and it's really easy to recover that data. So that's the positive side. But I'll tell you what the negative side is of Windows 8 and 8.1. If you log in like you used to Mm -hmm. with a local account on your local machine um, and you download Microsoft Office and then later on you log in with a Microsoft account and you try to use Microsoft Office on that same machine, it's going to be – it's going to give you a warning and it will say, hey, wait a minute. I don't think this is the same person. We're not going to let you use this software that you paid for. Oh, my gosh. That's where the real problem comes so, in. So, so does the cloud think that somebody's hacking into your account? It treats the local account that you signed in on and your Microsoft account or other account. It treats it as if they were two separate people. Oh. And that's what, what's causing the most confusion the most number of problems for people, I think. All right. So now when you buy, let's say, Office 2013, are you are you buying the program or basically are you just given access to their program? Right now, you can still buy and own Microsoft Office 2013, but in the future, that's going to change. Their Microsoft and other companies – they're starting to prepare us right now. They're making Office 2013 expensive enough so that people start to consider renting mm. software. And that's called Office 365. Right. And in the future, this rental option is going to be our only option. This ownership model is going to be gone. It's just like Adobe with the Creative Cloud. Exactly. That's the best example. Yeah. Um, in the past, you had Creative Suites 5 and 6. Yep. You would pay for it, and you would own it forever. But now they're not even giving you that option. They, they've they made the next, um, if you want to call it a leap forward, 
I might even think it's a leap backwards, but um, now they have Adobe Creative Cloud. 